this is the the size 16 wonder larva so wonder um, wonder wrap is the material that I use that's why I'm calling it the wonder larva it's the same as like span flex and all those other materials so secure it just right behind the bead and as you wrap back just pull that stretch on that a bit that ties down nice and thin when you do and then make sure you make good wraps back and that way it's secure okay now what I did is I doubled it up because if you make one just one strand you're gonna be wrapping a lot okay if you do two it's a little easier and again this is stretchy so when you make that first wrap stretch it and get it on that base and then start coming up so like I said this first layer is gonna be real thin and again if you did it with just a single you'd be wrapping for a while when I get up kind of near the bead again I'm stretching I'm coming backwards to get a little more material on, on there to thicken it up a bit okay so real simple I don't go all the way back because I want it tapered so I stop right there and then I start forward again you can see this gives a little segmentation not a lot and then once I come up here so I'm going forward back forward once I get back here right behind the bead I'll go ahead and tie off and make sure you secure that down really well because if you don't and you cut it it's going to kind of blow up on you so pull it stretch it and then cut it so again right here um, we did the tan thread because we had that on from the previous but uh, if, if at this point you want to do black thread you can certainly do that I got a, that sharpie that we're going to use at this point all I do is grab some black dubbing and it doesn't matter what dubbing you use what I found is I kinda like um, a longer um, fibered material like an kind of an angora mix maybe with some rabbit or something like that to kind of soften it up and then I'm just gonna come in here and wrap a thorax that really that's it and then with that sharpie I'm gonna hit this thread just to darken it up instead if you have black thread um, when you if you switch to black thread then no big no big deal there the reason I didn't start with the black thread is because I, it would darken up my body overall when I wrap the material. I don't have my whip finisher, but I'm just going to throw a couple on there just to secure it. So now that um, I'm good, thanks. Now that uh, um, I did it with the black sharpie, it blends right in with that dubbing. So. I mean that's it. That's that's really all you need right there. Um, if you want to clip some of the fibers off the top, you can certainly do that. And if you want to pick some of these out underneath for legs, you can certainly do that too. But uh, a coarse dubbing works really well on this fly, and it just adds for you know adds a little more movement in the water and some legs. But uh, if you use plain old rabbit, it works works just as well.